Hi there. In this video, we are going to quickly go through all of the tools on the global navigation bar. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you're logged into our Winsville Instructure Canvas instance, which means we're at winsville.instructure.com and we're logged in with our at wsdr4.org account. The global navigation is this blue bar over here to the left. And no matter what course you're in, this bar stays consistent and allows you to jump out to global tools, meaning tools that don't pertain to any particular course. Every time you log into Canvas, you're directed to your dashboard. Your dashboard is where you can see your courses that you're enrolled in as a teacher and as a student. They're broken up into two categories, published courses and unpublished courses. So if you start the year with your courses unpublished, they're very visibly here unpublished, which makes it easier to make sure that those get published for when you need them. A couple of other items to look at on here. All of these course cards have course information on them. If there are active elements in the course, as you can see these little icons here, they let you jump into that particular course activity. Each course also has three stack dots over it. Those three stack dots allow you to give the course a nickname. So if you want to shorten that name up, you can do that. You're the only person that will see that change. You can also add a cover overlay, change the color of it. Of it. And moving across the top here, three stack dots allow you to change your dashboard view. Card, viewed are, card view are these big view tiles that you can easily click to get into classes, but you may also want to change to list view. Moving on to recent activity. And now back to card view. Students also have the option to change their view of their courses. If you want to rearrange any of these course cards, you just press down on those course, course cards and you can rearrange them. Over here on the right is your dynamic to-do list. As a teacher, it will list out the items that you need to grade. As a student, it will list out the items that you need to complete. Moving along now to the courses tab. When you press the courses tab, it's going to show you all your published courses, unpublished courses. And if you scroll down and press all courses, you will see courses from all time that you've been enrolled in as a teacher or as a student, even ones that are from past terms. Any courses that are here, you can also choose to star. And when you star it, it adds it to your dashboard. Your dashboard can hold up to 20 active courses. So if you are a student or missing a course that's published, you can always go to courses and all courses and find it there. Moving on down to calendar. So calendar shows any assignment due dates. And over here on the right, you're gonna see these are all of the courses that I'm active in. So you can toggle those courses on and off depending on what you want to see. So those courses are going to show any assignment due dates. You can also jump into those assignment due dates on the calendar. As a teacher, you can create assignments from the calendar if you want. So this assignment tool is just another way for students to stay organized and for you to move and see assignments as well, if you choose to do that there. Inbox is a great way to communicate with students. The nice thing about Inbox is that any messages that are sent through Inbox actually end up in your at wsdr4.org Google account email as well. So you don't have to remember to check here. You can also just check through your Gmail. To compose a new message up here at the top is a compose a new message button. As a teacher, you get to choose what course you want to contact, so which email, you can go in here and find your courses, click on them, and then choose which students you want to send a message to, all from Canvas. The next section is Commons, and this is one of teachers' favorite sections because it's stocked with many, many course resources. In fact, here we're seeing over 100,000 resources. So if you are looking for a pre-made quiz, a course, you want to find something that you want to make your own, you can search for it right here for that quiz. And then you also have, you also have filtering too. So right now I typed in the hero's journey, I'm seeing 30 results for it. I can also go here and search for most downloaded, favorited, and I can even filter. So maybe I'm only looking for quizzes only on the hero's journey. Once I find a resource that looks interesting to me, I can click on the title of it and I can preview a little bit more about that resource. So here in a second, we'll see a preview. So here are the quiz questions showing me what it's going to be like. If I wanna bring that into my course, 
Over here on the right, I can click my import or download button, and then it's gonna bring up my courses. All I do is click on the course that I want to bring that into, and then I click my import button at the bottom, and it will put that resource under the quizzes section in my class. So a very easy way to grab uh, information, assignments, courses, and bring it into my course. Finally, this help button is right here at the bottom. The help button is really awesome because we have this search the Canvas guides tool. Mike, Sam, and I are here to support you through Canvas, but if you need immediate answers, that is a great place to go. They have awesome, in fact, I'm gonna click it to show you just so you know how to get in here. It has awesome video guides and written tutorial guides. So once it loads here, you're gonna go down to the Canvas guides, and then you're going to click on the instructor guide here. And then you're gonna notice it's broken down by section. So if I have a question that is about course announcements, here are a list of questions, possibly most common questions. How do I add a course announcement? When I click it then, you're gonna see it even walks you through picture by picture what to click and how to do what you want to do inside of Canvas. So again, we just looked at the global navigation bar. That is that blue bar on the left here. And no matter what course you're in, that is the bar that stays consistent. Students have a very similar view here. Students do not have that commons button though.